okay, it finally says, we're going to pick you up. Right, right. I go down, I'm like, Phew. now this is downtown Philly, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's not a single soul in sight. Not a single soul. It literally looks like 28 days later. And I look down this way, and you know, these are big city blocks. It was a right? damn zombie, Joe. Three, Matt, three, you're three, lying. I get to the airport, run. I'm one of the last two people on the flight. I make right. my flight. I couldn't even stop for pretzels if I tried. Okay, so that was your way to tell me you didn't get pretzels. I apologize. Wow. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome back to the Brully Love Pod. It's Friday. The, yes, the new and improved. Hope we're, you're we're, having we're, a good keep, Friday. Yeah, it is Friday, and we're going to just keep saying the new and improved Brully Love Pod. We're just going to keep hammering it home, right, Joe? Home, the new studio. Yeah. We're a few weeks in. We're settling in. How's how's everybody you feeling? Know, I, I, the, the journey that it took to get here. Yeah, it's been I just can't one. stop thinking about what this place even looked like three weeks ago. Oh, you should have seen it. Oh, with all the rats. Rats, and, uh, cockroaches. There's no rats in my house. <laughs> in our house. Yeah, no. Uh it was uh yeah, it was crazy. It was it was crazy. You had to re remove all the carcasses. And yeah, then we, uh, we set up this lovely table. And how about just learning the whole, you know, industry of podcasting? Yeah, no, it's, it's been, been pretty um, fun, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. It has. Andy, do you have anything to add? You've I'm been just, sitting over there quietly. I'm not talking staring. over you guys because I don't I want like it to that. be a... but it's been I mean, it's been a real family affair. Everybody's kind of come to the rescue lately. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been working on this. Everybody in the you know, family's been taking up some sort of role, I... posting <laughs> stuff. So mom <laughs> actually picked out these chairs. Yeah, the chairs are great. Oh. I love the chairs. And we got pumpkins. Because mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, it's festive. Yeah. I love, even I, this year's flying by, guys. I, I love all holidays. I, yeah. Christmas is obviously first for well, me. Well, of course. Christmas is. But Halloween, I really, I know, but most people, like, you guys aren't, like, the big Halloween guys. I like the fall season, yeah. you know. October Fall fest. of the leaves and all that, even though we don't get that much out here. And the pumpkins. But I'm not a big Halloween guy. But you know what? You and scare now, easily. Now, so. I, I don't. <laughs> you still sleep with a little nightlight. <laughs> I, I, I don't sleep with a nightlight. You sleep with a binky. I you sleep know that. You all sleep my lights <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's like Linus. He's like Linus from Snoopy. He still brings that weird blanket in everywhere with him. <laughs> my, it's a little weird. My binky. <laughs> it's good. It's my lucky binky. I have one binky. favorite stuffed yeah, toy. It's my lucky binky. Yeah. Uh, Matt's binky. We could have a segment on the show called Matt's binky. We'll just have it in here Let's with not. Us. We should. You know, if you put yourself on YouTube cuddling your binky at night, you'd probably do well. No, did you hear about really this? Well. What? No. This guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Became a millionaire. It's old news. Oh, jeez. Off yeah. a streaming... What? Him sleeping, and people yeah. would watch him Come sleep. On. I swear to God, Joe would so, watch him well, sleep all no. night long, well, and he made millions no, of dollars hold doing on, it. Hold on, hold on. Just sleeping. No. Did, he, did he play the Lionel no, Richie song? No, this is the point. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Again, long. Andy's now going to try to contradict me. Go well, ahead, Andy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm just not contradict. I'm just going to add uh, some some facts to it. The reason he was so successful is because he had a game going on where he had triggered noises and lights. Really? And the audience oh, was tried to why. Yeah, tried to wake him up. Wow. So he said, if you can wake me up, you know, that's the thing. So people would tune in all night and start, wake me up yeah. anyway. before you go, go, because oh. I ain't planning on a going solo. You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> and he's back. To, he's, oh, he, he goes into the weekend at Bernie's he face does. all the, he all the time now. As soon as we did that, all of a sudden, I was like, I know. that's what I'm doing. He needs a pair of shades. So weekend we at Andy's. Oh, he's got him. Weekend there at Andy's. We go. now, we now you don't even know if I'm here or not. This uh, is the best. Truly, this is truly. I'm just yes. going to stay hey, like guys, this. guess what? What? After wait, where are they? Hold on. Yeah. After three years, these glasses, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. Andy brought me these glasses. I lost them in the woods on a shoot, and my buddy went and bought a metal detector. Brian, what's up, buddy? Shout out to you. That's right. I remember that. Right. Found them. It's crazy. In the creek with a metal detector, I got them back. Right. I was like, yeah. now. Flash forward two years later, my truck gets bro broken into. Right. And they see two pairs of shades, one being these, another one's being another pair of sunglasses that he bought me, but they were right. both prescription. Now, they broke in and stole them out of my car. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, right? Now, I'm walking my dog down the hill, and the only route out from where my car was parked right, that right. next day, right. and, I'm, and I look over, and she's peeing, and I look in the ground, and I'm like, wait, there's some loose glasses? And I go, pick them up. There they were. They must have gone... Put them on and gone, oh my gosh, these are a prescription and tossed them out the window oh on the driving down the hill. Anyway, the point is they're broken, they're wired, they're three years old, and I'm finally getting two new pairs, guys. No way. And I'm finally getting two new pairs, guys. Did you did, was that a second take at that? <laughs> yeah. what oh is no, that? this should take. By the way, and I'm finally getting two new let me take that again. Guys, and I'm finally getting two new pairs, guys. Guys, I've got my first 
self tape audition after the strike is cooling off. Oh God. oh God. It's probably the worst news I've gotten in eight months. <laughs> Andy is absolutely self tapes tuned out, along with everybody suck. else. Yeah, 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 yeah. What anyway. do you want? Oh, sorry, I was uh, dozing. No, what are you saying? You got a, you I got, got an s- audition after eight months of Come nothing. Because really? I swear, my first audition. Wow, not weird. Yeah, we, we were uh, we were saying you were saying you were saying, <laughs> and you're doing weekend at Bernie's, dude. You can't. I can't. I I just I literally can't stop thinking about that movie. I actually watched it myself again to go to sleep the other night. I don't know why. It just it's makes a me good feel soother. good. It just makes me feel good. I love the lines. I think Jonathan Silverman and. Andrew McCarthy were so good in it. I know we've talked about it, but now, I just you, love it. Do you, when you have the TV on when you sleep, does it have a timer? Does it go off? I put on it, a timer. Or do you wake up and is it still on? No, I, I wake up and it's still on. But I what really, I, what I do is, um, it's, you know that that like kind of goes into your subconscious all night long, right? Whatever's playing. So now you've got this dead guy in your head. Yeah, yeah. Bernie. Uh, Bernie. Um, no, but you know, uh, the most, you know, I've heard, I've, I've read this. What? That the most important thoughts you have. Yeah. Before you go to bed, right, and right when you wake up, that's okay. why like praying or meditating, whatever it is, you, you float your boat <laughs> before you go else. to bed or when you wake up is so important. <laughs> yeah, it's because your brain REM sleeps on those things that you were thinking. That's of. true. It's true. That's why I always and wake prepares up. you for the day. So you're actually your brain is preparing you for the day ahead if you've addressed it the night before. Wow, Isn't that interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Okay, what all the way is- down to your biology. Right. Literally, your genes are preparing you for the day that you've thought about the night before. Not true. What That's kind true. of genes? Like diesel genes? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Zara. Go ahead, Andy, you were gonna say something? Uh, the moment's passed. No, say it, recreate no. it. Matt had a take two, he's already taken four takeovers. Yeah, already. but I'm, I'm one take wonder. Oh, one take wonder, yeah, okay, there we go. Ah. Funny little story. Oh god! You see this little succulent pot on the table here, folks? Yeah, I made that. I know you did. I no, put wait. The little felt on the bottom. So there's a pot on the table for all the people that are just listening. Listening. To this but hey, if you want to watch, tune into the rocks, YouTube and check it out as well. Succulents. And there's a small clay pot, and Matt has had very nicely arranged some succulents in there with some nice little lava rocks and stones. And, and Andy like and Andy decorated with some pumpkins. I'm starting to sweat. If guys. you can well, do that, I don't think Andy has ever. I'm sorry to, to redirect here, but I'm trying to come up with something good to talk about, Joe, because what you're talking about is just boring. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. Matt's What's next. Matt's. Do you remember? No, I'm thinking he's of on fall. One today. And wow. I think Andy missed this, but do you remember? Matt's on a rude bender. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember? Do you remember I, uh, leaves color? The color of no, leaves. Do you changing? remember, Joe, when we used to rake up? All the leaves and had the giant pile of leaves yes! at the ladder. Oh and we'd my jump gosh! Off the top, mm. or we would use those little like those little um, scooters and go at full speed and boom right, right into, into the. It. If I Joe man, only knew how many wood lice was in that pile of there leaves, probably a lot. Louse, probably. Andy, wood. Oh, wood louse. louse. What do you mean? You louse. No, no the plural is louse. Wait, the the plural of lice is louse. Yes, but of doesn't course. louse mean like loose? Louse is no. like. Loose well, is I've, loose, I've louse it, is louse. I've heard it used as an, as an expression no. like, you louse. Yeah, it means like you're a, yeah. a bloodsucker. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to Google this because I need to Google know. Google louse. Google lice versus louse. Hey. <laughs> it's so oh. cute. What is it? Tell me. It's, yeah, I mean, it's it's a wingless parasitic insect. Told you. It lives oh, yeah. in the skin of mammals and birds. So when you're sucking off of somebody, like, or, yeah, you're a louse. I remember hearing this. It would be like if, you're, if your father or mother was rich <gasps> and you were still living off of me, you'd be like, yeah, nothing but a louse. Dude, they're yeah, hideous. That makes, that makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. They're what? literally hideous. What, wood, wood mm-hmm. lice? Oh, they dude, look... they're creepy. Please don't show me a blown up picture of a wood. Oh, I know. It looks like aliens. No, dude. <laughs> it does. It looks, looks like a predator. predator. <laughs> Predator. Such a great uh, movie. A great movie. Great movie. Uh, oh my gosh. Get to the chopper. If you've ever seen, if you've never seen Arnold Schwarzenegger's The Predator, oh. the original one. Wait, you sure 80s. we're not talking about Adrian However, Brody's Predator? Adrian Brody. Because he really kicks a lot of ass. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I hear that. Who thought to replace Schwarzenegger I don't with know. Adrian Brody? Granted, I, don't know. I actually I don't really like know. Adrian Brody. I, I got to hang out with him. No, uh, I, I, I did <laughs> just in case for legal purposes. No, no I really just did. Case I went Adrian on this crazy trip. He was awesome. Listening. He was yeah. a very nice guy. He has a beautiful girlfriend or wife. I don't know if they're anyway. Really cool dude. <laughs> wow. But I don't know how the hell he was. Pre- like he doesn't kill Predator. I like, know. No. Whoever, Adrian, I hear the he loses Ray? that one yeah, he, in real I life. Think Predator gets Brody, Adrian Brody. Brody loses to yeah, Predator. Yeah. I hear that new movie Prey, which is I think an, an extension it's, of that. It's a prequel, actually. I've heard it's really good. It's pretty good. It's better than Adrian Brody's. Predator. Predator. So I want to check it out. I haven't seen it yet. Is it better than Danny so Glover's really Predator want to see 2? Prey. Predator 2 is not bad, actually. It wasn't actually. bad, right? It wasn't bad. Nah, it wasn't one, but it wasn't one. bad. No, but no. 
There's something about Not that one. first one. What if about, you've never seen it. Have anyway. you seen Alien vs. Predator? <clears throat> no. No. That no, wasn't great. No. I just, it just, it became like kind of a sellout. Can uh, we get to back me. to the leaves? Because I remember oh, the leaf yeah, pile. Man. We had these big oak trees mm. in our oh. front yard. Oh my gosh. No, they were, and they were, they were literally, they had, they were stamped because they were so old right. and historic. Right. Right. Uh, remember and the stone would, pillars at the end of our street that yes, were like, like a postal years stamp? Old? Yes, no, I'm just yes. kidding. You should explain to people how, how, how trees that are protected have tags because not yeah, they they have, maybe people oh, yeah. don't know this. Yeah, I they do, know. yeah. All, I literally am just finding this out right now. Some oh, oaks, yeah. you know, are, are ancient there's, oaks. And, there's actually one up the street. Our neighbors, it has. It looks like a dog tag. Yeah. It's like really? a little silver yeah. ring. The California oak That's, is actually more in danger yeah. than the eastern oak because really? we ripped them all out when we came here. I don't know why. We decided it would be It would be smart to take all non-native plants. Why? Because they wanted it to be more tropical and oh more, you know, gosh. a destination to put on the cover of magazines and get people to come here, come to Hollywood, the Speaking palm trees. Of, it's like the Salton Sea. Yeah. The Riviera. When uh, the Salton well, no, but Sea that's was, what yeah. the Salton Sea was. I know, when it was first. <laughs> come to the greatest, yeah. you know, vacation destination, beaches that stretch for miles, and it's just the most. It's an ocean over a lithium mine yeah. that was just, like, <laughs> killing everything. Hey, my yeah. skin's not feeling no, too No, that's good what happened. Everybody left. Water. Died, oh, yeah. I know, yeah, horrible. Great. All right, all right. But anyway, you were saying they were stamped because they were, they were, they were protected. And they would kick off mm. the most unbelievable size leaves. Oh my gosh! In the fall, massive. First of all, it was the most beautiful thing ever. Right, East they, Coast Falls is, is very. beautiful. I miss it so much. It is very beautiful. Seeing, yeah. Right now, it's pretty special. Do you guys hear fireflies are going extinct? Yes. yes. What the, you know wait, why? No. So it gives me. I'm getting upset. Do you remember, remember those jars? Yeah, dude. Maybe that's why. Yeah, Matt would no, catch. No, Matt no. and I Matt caught millions. Millions he killed them all. <laughs> no, Suffocated I'll, I'll them in you, jars. No, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. why? Here's what's so devastating. No, it's 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 here's what's really devastating. When you go back to Revelation Road, which is the street we were born on, we're talking about fireflies. Yeah, there's, did, there's a re, there's, let me get there, buddy. So when you when we used to drive there, remember all the forests you used to drive through to yeah. get to the house? Yeah, they're all mini marts. In fact, I didn't even recognize Revelation Road because all the trees. I are can't gone. even imagine. Remember that. behind the house? The, yeah, the miles and yeah. miles. Oh my can, god! All the forests are gone. My point is, that no. is yeah. wait, everything, everything. There's, there's no backyard. There's no forests. There's none. It's just. Houses oh and mini marts. God. I'll never. Malls going what up. I see in my head it's is so different. Is a playhouse. Yes, grass it's so different. And trees. It's That's so different, guys. You would be shocked. I honestly passed Revelation Road the last time I went there because I didn't get to the forest. Like I got was all still mini marts and homes. That and, is now wait. Wow. So utterly my, depressing. So depressing. So my it's point not been is that long either. My point is it's only been twenty five years. Fireflies. Yeah, fireflies. Twenty fifty years. Not fireflies have like a, half a century. <laughs> fireflies. <laughs> Obviously, they have this incredible ornate um, way of lighting up and using bioluminescence for their mating rituals, it's unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Now, something that complex, for, right? The same complexity translates into their pupation of eggs, which develop into larvae, which hatch kind of like a cicada, but even more complicated. Also, cicadas are having problems. So they need so trees wait, and leaves. You to, need yeah, wide vegetation. open natural forests. Yeah. And you need wide swaths of it because they don't like to pupate near each other. Wide so open lay their eggs space. and, and, and pupates grow. For everybody out there. I know what pupate so, is. I so my, my point of it is when, I sing, no when, when we disturb these forests, you, you guys know, break even, out in the song and dance. Even heavy vibrations, even heavy vibrations can disturb the fireflies. So when we've cut down all these forests and now we've got roads and traffic, there's, there's nowhere else for them. That makes to go. me sad because those fireflies. Dude, it was were like awesome. the most magical yeah. thing. Yeah. Remember yeah. looking outside at the You night go to the East backyard, Coast, the whole backyard was lit up. Joe, it was incredible. When you go yeah. to East Coast, you gotta try to find them. You gotta wow. actually try to find them. You can't find them even in August. It's crazy. Dude, that's hard. Can we so disappointed? Can we put so them? So disappointed. Can we put them in captivity? Is there a way to save fireflies? Reforest America, but that's what they've been talking about. Can we go back to something that makes me happy? What I want to talk about are the size of the oak leaves. You remember those leaves that would fall off the tree? Dude, they were like dinner plates. Oh, yeah. Easily. They were huge. Huge. And anyway, they would and make- the acorns? They would make for the greatest- Oh, the we acorns. Could make, we could make all these little people out of acorns because they were that? so- I remember that, yeah. Like remember ornate that? and the, the cone I looked know. like a hat. It was-, it was Oh, incredible. my gosh. We'd make these piles. They were epic. Yeah. These piles were probably five feet high. Yeah. And we would take a ladder, to your point, and we would jump off into them, and it was the most feel incredible- like a cloud. It was the most- It was most, the most incredible- like, it was the most incredible oh, experience. Awesome. I'll never forget that. Never. I'm ever. so thankful we had those. So times. lucky. Like yeah. I don't even know if kids are doing this kind uh, of stuff these they're, days. They're 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 losing. You know. <sighs> so sad. Uh, uh, tens of twenties of hours a week looking at their phones. It's yeah. a whole different experience, man. Is, we've man. we've really gone into some weird, crazy, hyperbolic place in the yeah. last you know since since the iPhone came out. Honestly, like 06, it's just sort of taken a strange turn, and then social media really. 
really switch things good up. Good conversation, guys. You're alienating everybody 25 and under right now, but that's okay. Oh, really? Okay. Probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you, you guys suck. sound like boomers. You, you sound like boomers? Suck. Kind of. <laughs> Should we uh, take an edit then and do a takeover and start fresh? No, we're not editing anything out of this. That's the part. We're all oh. organic. Wow, fantastic. Fully... You're right. No edits. No. How are we going to edit in and out of these conversations we're, to make us look good? We're not. Oh, we're not. No, anyway, I was just saying, I don't mind social media. I think it's fantastic and it's a great tool. I'm just saying it has definitely fundamentally changed young people. See, because we were able to see it having that balance, right? What's What's interesting is, and, and be able to utilize it and enjoy it and appreciate both sides. But you're right. A lot of these kids today, they're not getting that side of it. They're not getting the leaf piles and the outside no. stuff and the egg you, and these kind of have things. Have you and seen it? It makes me feel, sound like, a, you know, one of those people no, you're right. in my day. No, you are but right. I feel like that a little There's, bit, you know? Living is, 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 you can't replace it through a phone. No, and, like and, football outside and sports. That's why I'm so thankful have, that kids still play sports because it's I so know. important. Have so you important. Anyway. seen the pictures of what gamers will look like in 20 years? They no. look like these weird sloth creatures. Oh. They've got ti- it's called tiger finger. Tiger which is finger, like these what? long. I swear to God, tiger finger. Okay, and and and, and this arthritis. Can't be real arthritis, hunchbacks, uh, eye problems, sores, oh, uh, sores, balding from what's lack, happening? Lack of vitamin D, uh, bald oh. spots. Uh, it's insane. Like, wow. but there's actually pictures of them. They look like they look like something out of Lord of the Rings. Oh, it's wow. great. It's our future, I guys. Doubt it. I mean, look, oh, you man. can't. It is absolutely look. It is. I don't think it's 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 for debate even. That exposure to outside the sun, the water, the elements, it's vital to our we health used to spend, as people. We used to spend 80% of our time outdoors right. up until the mid-90s. Right. Wow. Well, and wow. here's the best part. Do you know, the, wow. I mean, what do infants need? Yeah, that's right. The nope. sun. sun. Their mothers. Sun. They put them under UV lights in the hospital. <clears throat> right? No, you're right. Look. Really, the <clears throat> sun is They what say the they best need. way to start a day, if you could do it, is literally go outside and take a walk. Of course. First thing in the morning. Of course. If you can always. do it, and I know a lot of people, look, it's it's just not practical, but man, on those days that I actually am able to do that, oh, like a, early morning, I'm yep. talking like 7.30 when that sun's coming up, or yes. 7 o'clock. Best thing for you're you. Also, you feel so good. You're also supposed to spend at least 10 minutes uh, barefoot on the ground. Yeah, you are. Right. The vibrations yourself. of the earth. Yeah. No, the, the electric. Electric. Ions electron, that are coming off I, the yep, planet. All that stuff. Yeah. We're not experts, clearly. And I don't know if you could tell we're not experts in any of these things, but you know we what do doing? know this stuff to be true. And maybe we can have some experts on the pod that can talk to love this that. stuff. Because that's important I information. I would love that. Do you know that they're coming out with shoes now that have a copper rod that touch the ground and also come up into the sole and really? flatten out so that you're actually making contact with the ground. I just feel like that could malfunction really terribly. <laughs> or, you, <laughs> or you just, you do some jumping and like the rod goes oh through no. the sole. Oh, Obviously they've like, thought that through, Andy. These Man. shoes are going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird rod and lodge. No, but, okay, like, speaking to that testament, have you seen a garden when they ground a, the garden versus not with no. a cable wire? No. With a, uh, sorry, a, a um, copper wire. wire. What are they watching? A copper television? wire. school television Listen, there? listen. What? Plot without. Yeah. A copper wire that's grounding it okay. to with three times as many crops. Really? Yeah, just because so it pulls the vibration of the earth. No, not vibration, the electricity, the Guys. actual magnetic field off of the Speaking earth. Speaking wow. of crops, I told Matt this last night and I just I have, have you to... seen this new crop top? I'm yeah. kidding. Okay. <laughs> Don't I look great? No. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Oh, god. They're all really, the rage again. Been really working They're all the rage again. Yes. Oh, god. Anyway. With Mr. And, Tony Horton. And he's yes. breaking out the, the, yeah. the crop tops. He's bringing them back. Oh. Well, you know, they, they were back for, for a minute. Fall? They were I will say such though, an odd I will say I will say I I just to let people know I've been I I've been sweater weather. I've been I've been attending uh, Tony Horton's consistently, and I'm getting in pretty good shape, guys. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy's oh, been yeah. We'll give you an update at some point. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been. I'm Take it off. And we all want an update. Take it of off. Of course you do. Take and it th- off. That's actually why I don't, oh, I, I can't drink right now because I'm working out so much that it just it doesn't work. That's definitely, definitely, yeah, that really doesn't go hand in physical hand. Physical fitness and uh, being uh, poisoning yourself is not good. Does not go no. hand in hand with with alcoholic beverages. No, that's but my, true. but the whole point is that once I get my body percent fat down low enough, I'll be able to literally sniff alcohol and get wasted. So, Wow. That's, you know. Is that what Tony says? No. Oh, that's exactly. what I'm saying. That's oh, wow. the thing. When I start drinking again, I'm going to get smashed. Oh, no, I'm kidding. My gosh. I'm kidding. You're um, so crazy. Wait, crops. Terrible. I told Matt this. Crazy. I'm, I'm obsessed with naked and afraid. Um, <laughs> obsessed. Stop being naked. It's I'm, obs- I'm obsessed with naked. All yeah, obsessed with naked. <laughs> day long. Okay. Well, no, I'd like it on, but I, I actually. Do you like the XL? So, Naked and Afraid X. I like that one. This is cool. my actually. I have a bone to pick with XL. Yeah. Well, I actually, what is the difference? Because I don't really know. I've seen them. Forty days. 40. Sixty days. Oh, okay, Sixty days. Okay. And there's more contestants, and you and, and you, you can like group up. Community. I actually don't like XL, and okay. here's my problem with it. Okay. I feel like they kill too many animals, 
and I just don't I don't like watching oh, yeah, yeah. it because it's not real survival. It's still a television show. I don't care what anybody says. They're not there because they have to be. They're there as a choice. Right. And for me right. to go but into they a are eating the animals they kill. To they survive. are eating animals. And yes. I'm an animal, and I'm an animal person. And that's great. Me. But when they go to like a watering hole and eradicate all the turtles because they're easy to catch, and then they run out of food, and they're eating babies' eggs, and to me, it's just too much. Like. It's a good example of sustainability it's, right there. Yeah. yeah. So, well, there was an episode where they, they these this one group found they this water. Baby turtles eggs. Wait, they found a water. What 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 are they called with the oh, T? I, I can't anything. I can't think. What are they? What are the aquatic what? turtle? Terrapin. Terrapin. So they found a bunch of terrapin, and they were like, "We're just stepping on them." And every time they every they would step on them, they pick them up and they eat them. They found eggs, and then so I don't eat turtles. And then well, no, because they're oh. full of bacteria. But if you have to, you have to. Salmonella. They're really not they're good. Really to eat. hard but, to prepare. Yeah. Really but hard. if you have to, you have to. However. What do you eat? However, they were like, we're flourishing. Mm -hmm. We're stuffed. They were like, this one has eggs in it. And they oh, and then they went back the next the day and guess thing. what? No more no turtles. turtles. It's pretty much a microcosm of the entire human and species. And I was thinking to myself, right there. why didn't they why didn't they ration this out over? Like, isn't it unnecessary to why yes, not just, they should even have in not their eaten. famished state, they became gluttonous. Exactly. <laughs> that's human. Dude, oh exactly. God. It was so depressing. Wow. So that's my bone to pick with XL is they is there's they, they're there for longer, so yeah. they have to sustain more and eat more. We can't help ourselves with everything XL. Like, you know what I mean? Like XL. Hey, it's is true. that 16 ounce beverage good? No, man. We need the 32 <laughs> ounce. But hold on. If you're not satisfied with this 32 ounce, four for coming your way. And if that's not good enough, we got 128 ounces. <laughs> oh, my God. It's basically a freaking yeah. jug. Yeah. yeah. It's, oh, well, it's I like, mean, like a beer stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean <laughs> it's terrible. 12 patty burger. And I oh, get like on. for 40 cents you more. Just, you're drinking so much, you just start urinating while you're drinking yeah, yeah. Your soda. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, okay, I forgot to say this. But the one thing I was impressed about, negative afraid to bring a little positivity back in the conversation because okay. I do enjoy the show. I don't uh -huh. like when they kill animals, but I do enjoy the show. Can okay. I interrupt you real quick? I saw the worst thing on there. What? They killed and prepared a squirrel. Nice. I actually almost killed myself avoiding a squirrel in the street the other day because I saw one in the road. And I was like, oh, no. They, oh. Some sometimes they're just sitting there eating. Yeah. You're like, hey, buddy, are you going to move? Am I going to move? So and they're sad. like, okay. no, I'm going to move. I got to finish this Great. nut, and then they, I'll move. You're and like, it's, you know that moment when you're in the hallway with somebody? Oh, that's what happens with I a know, squirrel in a car. And then I know. Sometimes I know. The, he picks the wrong way. I know. <laughs> Squish. You said Awful. left. You said you were going left. Actually, it's really um, roadkill and stuff. It always gets me. Oh, you it's know, so sad. Just, we build our roads. We've crisscrossed the entire world with roads, and now yeah. poor animals. They're just they don't know what to do. Yeah. Go ahead. So as I was saying, <laughs> naked and afraid. This one guy did something kind of genius. Okay. And I told Matt this. Mm. He. This is genius. He get he he basically gut loaded himself. He he ate a bunch of seeds. Swallow didn't chew in them. the meal no. before he left. So when he got there, he went to the bathroom. And collect, 10 days later. Collect the stool? No. He had tomatoes no. and cucumbers. And, and here's, a, here's a brilliant part about he it, too, and he knew this. Harvested his own crop. Swallowed the seeds whole, okay? Yeah. Seeds I love how this story has become Matt's story now, but yeah. sure. Seeds naturally have a protective coating on yeah. their outsides yeah. to protect them from the enzymes in, the, in, in your gut, right? So that this is the genius part about seeds. This is why seeds exist. So when you eat, and this is why fruit exists, they want mammals to eat it because they want to swallow the seeds whole. And then as you're walking around miles and miles away, you're pooping and dispersing these yeah. plants. And here's the genius That's part. Why bats it. are important, but we can get into yes, that, that too. Here's and birds and all sorts of different kind of creatures. This how is do why the seeds know this. Did no, they, wait. They have like a seed convention. They've, where all they've, the seeds get they've together developed. Say, hey guys, they've, here's how we spread and yes. become widespread. No, but that goes to a whole bigger question. Which are you caught with the enzyme, Larry? Yeah. You bet I am. I'm going into this stomach and I'm going to be pooped out over here and then I'm going to grow. Yeah, that's that's the that's the universe. Universal intelligence, or however you want to put it, the seeds you know. have a union now. Whether you believe in God, they're, they're on strike. They're out there on strike. We're not getting sweet <laughs> crops. We're gonna. <laughs> but anyway, we're not getting respect. Here's the other, also brilliant part too: is that the poop, yeah, is a fertilizer. I can't believe you for the seed. Poop. So all you got to do is take your poop, get the seeds out, make a little poop ball around it, put it in the dirt, and boom, you're gonna have an explosion mm -hmm. of seeds, man. It's kind of it's brilliant. I Boy, I love brilliant. love love my story. Great story, and. Sorry, Ann, but I had a. And he's back to his sunglasses oh, yeah, again. There we go. <laughs> he wears his sunglasses <laughs> at night. Dun, dun. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, wow. so listen, speaking of, um, I want to try something new today because I've been reading some. some uh, Joe's some, been really looking forward to this. Let's just, he's actually. No, it's just that, you know what? I, I if I could tell you how many texts, we have a big group text. Yeah. If I could tell you how many texts we've gotten about this next, uh, let's call it segment. Yes. Well, I want to try a segment oh. because so many times I feel like 
you know, like when we don't have a guest on the pod and it's just us, you know, uh, honestly, uh, you I guys are like really quite, a void for talking, Con- I feel void like of it, conversation. Yeah, I feel here, like huh? it could be quite boring. No, no. But so, well, no, what I wanted to do was I've been I've been reading and there's been so many crazy headlines lately, like just interesting headlines. And we all talk about them, right? We're all sending ourselves those things. You see them on IG, you see them wherever they go. And you're like, dude, check this out. And check this is this the out. point in the show when a swirling magazine goes in and goes, headlines, yes, headlines. Yes. So to me- but we don't have that. So we'll just look in the camera and go, <laughs> headlines. headlines. Well, we might. Headlines. Hey, we headlines. don't doubt it. Anyway. Okay. So um, a few of the ones that I would like to talk about today. It was so interesting the way you just said that. <laughs> What did I say? It's like you were getting up in front of class in third grade or something. <laughs> now, a few of the topics it's being a I'd dad. like to talk it's about today. Being a dad. You know, you become part teacher as soon as you I have children. I know, I know. Honestly, everything becomes like, hey, guys, I- I'd like to talk about a few things with you. Yeah. And then you pull out your notes. <laughs> They're like, oh, God. Then you put on your glasses. Yep. Just so I don't uh, lose my thought. Yeah. I have my notes. But one of the things I wanted to say is just- That's little- like a dad. A dad always told me. That. He's like, whenever you're going to get into a important conversation, yep. just write some notes. That's right. And mm-hmm. have your list. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Still to this day, I write lists, and they're very effective. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I can't write them, I just type them into my phone, and I keep them under my notes section. Mm-hmm. Anyway, did you guys know that, well, for instance, Netflix, okay, sent out its very last DVD this past couple weeks. Wow. Yes. Do you know what the DVD End was? End of the DVD. Yes. They will, they've now closed the division. It's over. Wow. But Which is how, honestly, do, do I don't know. Do people still sell DVD players? Oh. Well, if anybody, uh, yeah, you can buy them on Amazon and stuff. It's like VHS players. You can still buy them on Amazon and stuff, dude. It's wild. Oh. They have DVDs, old school DVD collections, so, just like VHS tapes. I have can like 4,000 DVDs. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Will a DVD player become like a company will restart to remake them again because they're retro be and people retro. have a- Just like the Walkmans. Yeah. First of all, well, my 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 Charlie, uh, my oldest daughter- Do people daughter, still make CD players? Yeah, they do. My really? oldest, you can buy anything. My wow. oldest daughter, Charlie- um, uh, the, last Christmas bought me a laser disc boom player. box, oh. no, a boom box, right? Old mm-hmm. school boom box and with cassette tapes. So she was able to find cassette tapes brand new. Mm-hmm. It, I got a Hall and Oates tape. Mm-hmm. I know, dude. I got a Billy Joel tape. Wow. So cool. Anyway, brought me back to when I was 10 years old. Crazy, on, crazy. I don't, I don't mean to digress, anyway, but can we just talk about kind of how useless laser discs were? Oh, we went my from God. VHS tapes to this giant, like, I record know, a minute. that we'd have to switch in the middle Halfway of a movie through the movie you couldn't even fit the whole oh, thing oh that was unbelievable it was like a record collection for four movies it was it like was what the awful. hell it was awful why awful. it was not were smart. they better did they like did they did they the was quality there a, a, quali- was better. a better the vision but the, were the TVs, this is before I mean, the digital right age i just don't understand just, right. do was, you remember going to rent those laser yes. discs oh yeah. yes wait do you remember doing it in hawaii yeah, that's what i'm dude. talking about yeah, you went down dude. to the library that's what i'm yeah. talking about Rented the dvds so cool oh. dude laser discs. laser discs sorry laser discs dude. yes i got turned wow. they two to D- on laser discs. they switched to dvds you no, know I during remember, the years remember, we were there but they started as laser disc wow. library it was a laser disc library well you needed a library um, to house you did laser well because one they're, was the size of of an old vinyl i know and there was two per case because they couldn't fit the whole movie titanic one giant titanic was literally i think it was six i think it was six laser discs i'd love to get a laser disc and like get like a little I tiny have, usb card i have a i have really batman like, 89 on laser disc do you really no way. yeah Wow. That's kind of cool. That's actually, actually pretty cool. I should dig it out. We so they sent out, but you know, for people, and I'm sure everybody knows this, but for the people that might not know this, Netflix started as a as a DVD company. You could order. Mm. Uh, D- wait a minute. Everybody knows that, dude. Does everybody know that? I, don't, I actually knows that. didn't well, know that. You guys must have been living under a rock. No, I didn't say. Netflix. I'm the one talking about it. Hold I on, knew about hold it. On. What are you talking? You guys must be living under well, no. a rock. I'm. This is my Netflix story. Netflix put Blockbuster out of business because right. they were mailing people DVDs. I, 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 so I, this was how do you not know where so I started, wasn't dealing with? They movie, started as uh, a at home. I yeah, so they started as a DVD company. Okay, whatever. Mm. Anyway, and then developed into the Netflix we know today. But and they're raising their prescri- or subscription. They are always Again. doing that. Always doing. Do that. We something? Sorry, interjection. Ads. You know what else? Something about a crazy company. Do you read my list? No. Because Google is celebrating its 25th anniversary. 25 wow. years wow, look of at Google. The impact. Right, dude. I don't know if another company has had quite 25 the years. Now they literally know everything. 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 About yeah. everything. everything. Literally yes, they do. They house so, all of our information on a giant floating barge in international waters, too. Dude, it's very strange. Really weird. They do, yes. Uh, with spare body parts. So Apparently. They, right next to it, yeah. Spare no, robotic the, body parts. Do you parts. know what the last DVD that went out was? For legal purposes. Netflix, it's last DVD. Forever. No, I don't know what it was. True Grit 2010. No way. Yes. True Grit? 
It's kind of a cool movie. With Jeff great Bridges. movie. Yeah, with yeah. Great, great movie, but that was the last one that it went out. It was a good one. Yeah. yeah. I like the original True Grit, too. Great movie. John Wayne? John Wayne. Wow. But anyway, so yeah, Not Google. Actually, I might like the new one more. Well, look, yes, because the original one is very old movie yeah. now, you know, but yeah. But anyway, Google, celebrating 25 years. Isn't that wow. incredible? 25 years. Incredible. Um, all right, how about this story? This this hit home because you know it's um, it's baseball playoffs, right? Ooh, so, Phillies, you know, Phillies, Phillies. So, uh, by the way, you were in Philadelphia and I you didn't was. bring me back any pretzels. And okay, I, can and I, I tell you my? No, I, I gotta tell you my story. No, 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 no more story. Wait, hold on. You're dead you gotta hear this story, guys. Oh, yeah. is, I don't know if I do. I have to hear it. Yes. Okay, but does the audience have to hear it? Yes. Wow. It's pretty good. Us after. He's going on record it's saying you all need to hear this. It's so pretty good story. I've already heard this story. story. Okay, this is my second so, time. Uh, I'm in a sh- I'm in Philly. It's like to have to do a show yeah. at the Met. It was pretty cool, guys. I walk nice. up on the stage of the Met. It's entire. It's packed. Everybody was just so stoked. Anyway, I get off. Go to the my Met. Room. I thought you were at the Phillies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and uh, go back to my hotel room. I got a flight the next morning at like 11. I'm like, ah, that's no rush, you know? What if you just told this boring I get story? up. I started a nice I get hotel. Up. It was a nice hotel. It had a beautiful bed. Matt! You know when they put those little <laughs> chocolates on your pillow before you go to sleep? Come on, man. I get up. What? Okay? Yeah. I get a little breakfast. You know, I pack. It is that story. I order my Uber. <laughs> it is the Right? Story. I, I order my Uber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It gets, you know, declined. And I'm like, okay. Order another Uber. His guard. Gets Not declined. the Uber. <laughs> gets declined. I'm like, oh, gets, you know, the driver says can't pick you up. I'm like, what is right, going on? Right. Finally, the third or fourth one, I'm like, now I'm getting a little close for time, right? Right, Now right, the right. Third, or fourth one, third or fourth one, okay, it finally says, we're going to pick you up. Right, right. I go down, I'm like, Phew. I walk outside the, yeah. the uh, now this is downtown Philly, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, And there's not a single soul in sight. Not a single soul. It literally looks like 28 days later. And I look down this way, and you know, these are big city blocks, right? It was a right? damn zombie, Joe. Three, Matt, three, you're <laughs> lying. <laughs> there were damn, it was a damn pack of zombies, Joe. The zombie walked up. Matt, Matt, this is a bullshit story. <laughs> no, this wait. is not a real story. Wait. I look three blocks down this way. <laughs> you this in with this oh, God. About zombies, man. Oh, God. It wasn't a zombie apocalypse. Okay. No, wow, I look three, three blocks this way. Yeah. Cop cars. Blocking off the road. Okay. Look the other way. Cop cars. Look the other way. Cop cars. How many chop cars did you steal, wait, bro? Wait. What? Yeah. Then I get, and my phone starts blowing up. Uh oh. It's the Uber driver. The entire downtown metro area is shut down because they've been having some protests and riots, and there's a Phillies game, and they were I'm sorry, an Eagles game, and oh. they were worried that it was going to get out of hand. There were no cars allowed into the downtown area. I start trying to figure out a block mm-hmm. to meet this guy, and I start yeah. running. My point of it is, I I meet up with this guy after 20 minutes of trying to find him. Did you Tom get in the Cruise car? Run? Now wait, it gets even worse. Did you worse. Tom Cruise run? Which Tom Cruise run did you? The do? game is now starting. Okay. Traffic. We can't oh, get out of the city. Uh, now wait, I get to the airport. Uh, run. I'm one of the last two people on the flight. I make right. my flight. I couldn't even stop for pretzels if I tried. Okay, the point. so that was your way to tell me you didn't get. Pretzels. I apologize. Wow, you had to go to a bomb Philly has threat. the best. You had to go to pretzels. a bomb threat Wawa. protest. Eagles game. Zombie outbreak. Zombie yep. outbreak. I mean, really mad. Stop me. That's Before the only that, thing that would have stopped me from getting yeah, your pretzels, yeah. Joe. Uh, was a zombie apocalypse. A zombie apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. The one in one a million, million happened. happened. Okay? <laughs> you're just... More like one just, in a trillion, you're just You're just so unbelievable that you just took five minutes of our lives. It's true, Everybody though. listening and watching it will never get back Look, to no, tell Philly me. Pretzels. You couldn't bring me soft pretzels Philly because pretzels. of zombies and Philly's games. Philly's pretzels, I mean, they're like the best. Who are you kidding? I want them. I'm pissed we don't have oh, them on the table right now. You had them when you were there. I'm starving. Is anybody else hungry? I'm sure you had them when you were there. I had I didn't have a Single pretzel, dude. I had three cheesesteaks, but I didn't have a single pretzel. Why didn't you have a pretzel? Yes. Buy them on the street. Time fast. Out. I was there for Somebody, 36 hours. Hold on. Hold the phone real quick. Somebody said to me uh, recently, they're like, I wasn't impressed with cheesesteaks. What is the deal with all the whiz? Whoa. Yo. Provolone. 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 Yeah, you don't get whiz. No, don't get whiz. Here's the sad. Yeah, guys, not, here's the sad part. Know, what? Pats, Geno's, Brothers, they've all become tourist traps. Mm. They're all not the same good steaks. I tried all three of them. I was like, eh. And then I went in and got the real one, you know? Yeah, and then you're yeah. like, oh, this is actually like a little mom and pop I always love Roman Delights. Roman Delights. Romans are great, dude. Yes. The best. Romans yep. are great, man. So great. anyway. anyway. Uh, all right. So uh, getting back to my headline, I want to talk about. Yes. Did anybody hear about the emotional support alligator that the guy brought to the Phillies game? No, yeah. That's kind of they awesome. They didn't, they didn't let him in. They didn't let him in. Why not? They didn't let him in because they have, it's, it's an alligator, dude. Are you kidding me? A Phillies fan tried to come into the game tonight with what they yeah. said was a service animal, yeah. but it was an alligator. He actually was really cute. Yeah, he was. that is something I would do. He actually has a big IG following. And I would he was do there. It. He got an invite, yeah. but they but they wouldn't let him in. So they invited. I think his name's Wally. They invited Wally. Well, but, Wally the crocodile. Yeah, but he didn't. He 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 wasn't let in. I just think it's so funny. Like, can you imagine showing up with? 
catch. Sorry, Wally the alligator. They're very he brought different. Him, he brought him over his shoulder, though. He brought him in like he had, a, le- he had a leash. Yeah. Yeah. And he was and his little hands were. Yes. He's really cute. They're really yes. cute. Have you seen the crocodile that had. Are they that, friendly, though? Yeah. yeah alligators? Yeah. Hold on. I, you, can, I, you can. I mean, look, guys, I'll go out on a limb and say that. All animals <laughs> are friendly. But bum go out on a limb. Yeah, <laughs> oh, alligator no. takes a limb off. No, no, but all yeah, animals yeah, yeah. instinctively start friendly. No, of course. You know, like they're like humans. If they're yeah. if they're raised the wrong way, or, or right. their life dictates right. how right. they turn out. You're right. You're right. Well, I mean, a perfect example when you go to the Galapagos, there are no natural predators. So over thousands of years, all the animals in the islands. They've never had to be scared of anything, so they're not scared of humans either. You can right. walk right up to all the birds, the guanas, well, going the back seals, to squirrels, it's like the, the fish aren't the afraid Disney of lot. you, the and the squirrels on the Disney, on the Disney, lot. On the Disney lot. Another story, just because I'm, I'm, I found some good stories this week. Okay, okay. You've been doing a little research. I have. You? What about this one? There was a guy well, who tried to cross the Atlantic in a handmade hamster wheel. Did you read this story? No. Okay. I missed that one. So he drowned. Was no, there next, anything, he, was there anything important we need to know out of it? it? No. Well, that's why I missed he, it, Joe. Look at this. Look at this picture. Look at what the Coast Guard picked him up. Well, nobody. Seventy miles off. The so coast. it didn't work, huh? So why are we talking about something that was a well, bad idea? No, they didn't. Give and him a didn't chance. work. They didn't give him a chance. The funny thing is, though, I'm glad they didn't give him a chance. He yeah. probably would have been dead. He said, "You guys, you guys ruined it. I was on my way to England." Oh yeah. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Look at this hamster wheel. It's just a series of. He was running. It was like, wouldn't you gonna run out of energy at some point? Yeah, it's bad four thousand mile trip. Anyway, I thought that was in, that was an interesting story. That's give a, it or give it or take. That's a terrible. How about this story. in Portugal, guys? Oh no. Yes. No more Joe. Two. No more headlines. Massive wine silos no burst. Oh yeah, and a river of, of, of a wine. A river, five hundred and eighty one thousand yeah. gallons, gallons of, of red wine, wine flash flooded through this well, town. Well, because wait a minute, because we the have plant footage. Was, the plant was on top. We of, have footage of this. The plant was on top. The winery was on top of a um, um, of a hill. It is literally crazy. Mm-hmm. It's coming through the town. It looks like. It's like water for chocolate. Remember that movie when the oh. whole town got flooded with chocolate? Or it's, or Charlie or Charlie, Charlie the Chocolate the Factory. The yeah. The but literally, the it is a red wine. People were just river. laying in the streets with their mouths open. Yes. Oh yes, they gosh. were. Yes. No, that's jumping in and out of it, I don't frolicking. Think it was fun. That was flash flooding. So it took a lot of people away. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Did anybody get hurt? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't think anyone got hurt. And speaking of wine, Whoa. a woman survived, okay, on wine and candy. In the Australian bush for five days. Just Sounds a good candy. time. Yeah, that's not that long. <laughs> Sounds amazing. I know. In no, fact, I would, I would just do that for fun. That the reason why I brought that up. Camping. The reason why I brought that up is because candy. that was a headline. Somebody brought that up as a headline. I was like, that sounds like Wine camping. And candy for five days. <laughs> nice. It's great. It's glamping. I people. mean, honestly, that's like, hey guys, I decided to go. She let had myself go for five. She days. had a really nice camper. Right. Right. Like, wait, this doesn't sound yeah. right, Joe. Yeah. yeah. She wasn't lost. And a herd of sheep ate a hundred kilograms of cannabis after Uh-oh. a flood burst through a huge greenhouse producing cannabis. A medical. The sheep cannabis, ate it. And a flood. Yeah. Brought the rest. Brought the rest of it to the sheep. They all ate it. And here it is. I guess the farmers noticed because the dogs were like notifying them that these sheep are out of control. Oh my god! <laughs> the dogs are Dude. running around, going like, row, row, row. "What sounds, the hell is going on with these sheep?" That sounds so bad. Yeah. Oh my god! The do- but I'm bummed. Oh my god! He was. You got it. I man. love it, Andy. That was yeah, good. That was that was that was good. But can you imagine? I only say like one or two things, but they're all gold. Why are they're chickens all... funny? I, I don't know. Because. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh boy! Oh, oh my god! Yeah. yeah, that's unbelievable! Wow! Okay. Why don't okay. you go ahead, Joe? No, th- look, I'm. I mean, that's you know, I don't really have any more today. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, well, there's that's more. The end of the segment. No, it's it's useless just... headlines yeah. from Joey Lawrence. <laughs> useless. They're not headlines. Tune in Friday. You know, I really hate you guys. Pointless you know headlines. That's I really what hate you guys. I'm petitioning that that's what this segment is called, and we should do yeah, it again. Pointless headlines. No, useless headlines. Useless, useless headlines. Yeah. Perfect. Done. Useless headlines. Well, that's it. Done. Yeah. There Look, was it's a, pointless headlines. Useless information. All right. Fine. There that's were a, some otters that stole a hell some of a long title. And evaded law enforcement <laughs> for an hour. What? There were otters stole surfboards Joe. and evaded law enforcement for over an hour. That's another headline. And so next week, I'm going to bring the headlines and the topics. Oh, yeah. Please don't. We'll see just hopefully how drastically different they Hopefully they'll be as, they'll be as interesting don't. as your Philadelphia story. Your yeah. zombie that apocalypse. Was interesting. Your zombie apocalypse it was story. fun living it. Can I tell you why? I did you know, Matt's headline is like, did you know in 2024, Bitcoin's going to be cut in half, so oh, the God. prices are going to skyrocket. Oh, yes. Hey, you actually got that right. It's called the halving. Andy really must the have halving, knows what he's talking about. The halving. 
The Halfling. Sounds like a new horror the Halfling. franchise. The Halfling. <laughs> Yeah. That's a really good idea. The halfing. Yeah, it's a guy who just saws people in half. The half. I actually just. <laughs> this is kind of. It's like the conjuring. Uh, have you, uh, there's a new saw out. Well, saw speaking of, and what, what, a, what, a, what a perfect month saw to talk about it. Saw 10. Oh my God. I actually went to go see it. It's no, pretty, you didn't. Yeah, I did. It's pretty good. I, I just, it's I, the best one no since desire. like the second or third one. What is. So, okay. No desire whatsoever. So, saw. Yes. Um, well, what, the guy just saws. Would, would you like to play a game? So he just saw no, people. No, dude. I never saw any of them. It's actually... It, Get it? This <laughs> never saw, saw any of them. It's right. actually pretty clever. They mm. did a good job. What's so clever about it? Tell me. What do you mean? I mean, you go see the movie. Or what's, watch what's it. clever? You just said it was clever. What's what's clever? Why don't you tell... It? What's clever about Saw 10? Why don't you tell me and it, Joe about the mere it? The fact that it is Saw simultaneously ruined the so movie for anybody who the, hasn't seen it The out fact there. that it's Saw 10 is what... In the, the, that they actually did something unique and reinvented it was oh. really clever. But they, yeah. So, so the whole point of Saul is the guy, the main killer has a has a, has an inoperable He's brain. He's got that mask, He's, right? No. Oh, which one's that? With that weird ghost like, face? No. Michael this Myers, is where Matt, Jason. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, would you like me to continue? No. Know. He goes. Know. Would you like to play a game? What does he look like? It's the the man, the guy, the actor. It's a guy. The man, the guy, the actor. He looks old. Kind of like the man, the myth, the legend. What's his name? Yours is the man, the guy, the actor. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You guys okay. are, what, asses. are you going to actually answer the question or what are you going to do? What do you want me to what, 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 was, what was the question? Does he wear a mask? What does he look like? No, he looks like a man. The actor. The actor. <laughs> a guy. He He's looks, got He looks like the actor, Let Joe. me tell you, hold up. This is I'm just going to set it up. And okay. and if you haven't oh, seen boy. the movie, I went in I went in blind, which was Don't go which see was, it. How did you watch it then? I didn't. No, I I I I, I didn't do any research. <laughs> Blood. I didn't. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I didn't do any. The only way I can watch a horror movie. I didn't do any research. I just went in okay. to go see it. And in a nutshell, okay. our what? Oh, what's the? But guys? would you actually have done research? Absolutely. I'm going to go see Saw Ten. But you know what? I'm going to do a little deep dive, and I'm going to do a little research on this film before I go watch it because I want to make sure I know what I'm. I mean, doing. I I like researching. So uh, okay. Oh, Jigsaw. Tobin Bell is the name of the actor. Tobin Bell. Um, okay. But he plays Jigsaw, and he's. Uh, it was really. It was pretty good. So basically, the character Jigsaw has an inoperable brain tumor, and he's like a brilliant man, and okay. he's dying. And when he sees people commit things that are ethically or morally wrong, he then decides that he's going to attack them and put them into a game that will dictate whether or not they choose to live or die through basically very gruesome. Um, torture, torture, yeah, okay. and it's and it, but it's up to them. It's not he doesn't ever kill anybody. That's the thing. News fans. they oh, like he does me. not commit. He does not kill. It's the person that would either he either it's a choice. He presents people with a choice to like redeem yourself. That's right. his whole thing. anyway. So this movie was about he is in a and a spoiler alert. Not yet. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Big time. Can we flash uh, a graphic across the bottom of the screen that goes, How about we spoiler just alert? Skip to the end. Oh, I'm sorry. You're bored yeah, now? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not your story, Matt. Yeah, wow. You know, if Matt had seen this movie, I guarantee you he would be finishing this guys, story guys, for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me can tell I you about Saul. This? Can yeah. I finish this yeah. for you? I, can I finish this story mm. for you just real quick? I guarantee you I'm not going to be touching Saul. That's I okay. Know. Yeah, I, well, it's not really my thing either, but I'm. you know what? I'm always happy Check to it out. about what other people like. Check it out. So we have this crazy, you know, mass, well known mass murderer, Jigsaw, right? Okay. Jigsaw. Who's been on the run and hiding and nobody knows where he is. Long and short of it is he gets wind of this experimental program where there's like a 90% success rate through this special cocktail and surgery they can treat uh, terminal cancer patients. Okay. Whatever it is. His is a brain tumor, so it's a little more complicated, but they're confident that they can do it. Okay. They don't do it in the United States because it's not approved by the FDA and it's illegal. costs a lot of money. Okay. But, he, but he's got a minimal time to live, so they fly him down to New Mexico to this off-the-grid like medical building thing okay. and operate on his brain tumor. And then he wakes up and they're like, guess what? You're cured. You're going to stay in this hotel room. Holy you're going to live. You're going to drink this okay. special serum. And at the end, you're going to, you'll, you'll, you'll live. Like this is the start of your new life. Okay. So as he's recovering, he's about to leave and he buys a gift to go give to the, like the people. And he goes there and the place is abandoned. And it's not, it's like, he, he's like, wait a minute. This is, I just had surgery here, but the place is abandoned. And he unwraps his headband and he looks in the mirror and there's no scar. So it was a, they scammed him. And they were scamming all of these people. The problem is they scammed Jigsaw, the who's the guy. wrong guy to scam. Wow. And that's your setup for the movie. You know what? That's actually a very interesting clever. premise. Really clever. Wow. It was gruesome, and I honestly couldn't even watch some of it because it was really gruesome. But, the, but it was 
But, Very clever. But, but to your point, 10 in to Dude, come up with a really interesting how do you, premise. Like 10 in? Like, like you think about, you know, Fast 10 or whatever oh my this God. last one was. They're literally like flying around the Empire State Building and, yeah, and the cars and, and now the have Statue of Liberty. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, what the hell is going on? I don't know. You know? I don't know. But I feel like everybody just wanted. I'm going to see Vin Diesel flying a Camaro through space. Yeah, Family. I know. I, know, I, know. I mean, like. <laughs> <"Rrr."> <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I just feel like. <laughs> orbit around the sun. <laughs> Nobody. Reverse time. Nobody. So I could save family my family. Yeah. I mean, it's like, right. seriously, though. Uh, but how cool. I was just, I, I was most impressed. That intergalactic. They, yeah, intergalactic space. Car theft yeah, exactly. ring. <laughs> I've got to get to Mars. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you've been on yeah. Mars since Fast 8. Yeah, let's I mean, be honest. that's honestly, uh, yeah. So, but th that's that's the thing. Like, you yeah. take a, a horror franchise, too, which you would never expect to do anything clever right, anything at this different. point. Right, And See, they, right. Really, they really did. Now, I think there's a flip side to that coin. When okay. you get to your 10th movie. Yeah. Tell us, Matt. I yeah, mean, Matt. I think you better be able to oh, really? reinvent it and come up with something cool. Oh, wow. Listen to that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. All well, right, man. good luck with that one, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Look, when you get to your 10th. <laughs> uh, uh, <see. laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, listen, guys. Um, Boy, that was a quick hour, wasn't it? I think that yeah. was. Yeah. I, 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 I don't it. know. Speedy That's Gonzales. It. We're done. Oh, we're done. This, thank this, goodness. Well, we're done. What do you, why thank goodness? Because well, I gotta of the get Saul some, story. I gotta yeah. get some lunch. No, you know yeah. what? I gotta get some lunch. No, you know what, guys? Listen, um, boy, we really accomplished so little today. Yep. And, um, <laughs> thanks for tuning thanks in. Thanks for being there with us. And yes. now you're all just a little bit dumber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Just yeah, excuse. Excuse. Listen, if you're at dinner tonight and you want to tell some people about the alligator that showed up at the Phillies game or the wine that was racing through a Portugal town or perhaps a hamster wheel vessel guy that tried to basically propel himself across the Atlantic to England. Or maybe that go see Saul 10. Or I maybe, don't know. Yeah, that actually could be kind of fun. Don't go see it. Why not? Or if you want to know why your Matt didn't get us soft pretzels. Yeah, maybe it was the zombie apocalypse in Philadelphia nobody His heard about. His extremely riveting story. Anyway, guys, God bless. Thank you for watching this yes! week. Thanks, we will guys. be here next Thank Friday you so much, on the Buddy Love Pod. Up top, guys. In the house. Another, guys. another good one. We love you guys. In the books. <laughs> In good the books. Book. You did it again. You did it Giddy. again, guys. Love you guys so much. We'll see love you next you. week. God bless thank everybody. You. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, the Lawrence Brothers here. We just want to thank you for watching this week's episode of the Brotherly Love Pod. Go to our link tree and subscribe on all platforms. And make sure you join us next, next week. week.